We just took two votes in the Senate, and I want to break it down for you as to what they actually meant. Majority Leader McConnell came out and said, we're going to take an important vote on delivering relief to American businesses and communities by a standalone vote on a Paycheck Protection Program extension. That's not actually what that vote was about. And so although it was complex procedurally and there was a lot of tabling this and majority that, at the end of the day, we know in the Senate how to come together and unanimously deliver relief for America's restaurants and stages, small businesses and nonprofits, for the folks who are struggling the most through this pandemic. That's what we did six months ago when we negotiated and then passed unanimously the CARES Act. What just happened was the majority leader didn't give us any text, didn't give us any amendments, and didn't negotiate. So it was a quick up or down vote on a complex procedural motion that wouldn't have provided any more relief to a single small business in America. I've introduced with several colleagues the bill that I think we should be taking up and passing that is a robust second round of small business and nonprofit relief that includes targeted help for minority owned businesses, for restaurants, for frontline hospitals, for the businesses and communities most at risk. The real action right now is on the other side of the Capitol, where Speaker Pelosi is still negotiating with the Treasury Secretary. That's what has a real shot at producing a big and bold and bipartisan bill. I hope they're successful, but the two votes we just took in the Senate are not part of that progress.